everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video happy monday i hope you all had an amazing weekend in today's video i'm going to be doing my nails using some kiara sky products also i'm going to be pre-designing my jelly tips before applying them i have tried this hack in a past video and I think honestly this hack is really perfect for beginners if you love using gel extensions but you're not the best at nail art especially if once you apply the nails you struggle a little bit. I feel that this hack is really great for beginners so I just wanted to do it again especially because um, this hack basically the only design that you can really do are French tips or design focused at the like tip of the nail. So French tips for me are very hard and I struggle with them so I feel doing it this way makes it a lot easier because I can use both hands, the nail tips aren't applied yet so I can kind of get different angles and that type of thing. So I'm going to be doing that in today's video. Like I said, I will also be using Kiara Sky products. And then also in today's video, I'm going to be announcing my 25K giveaway. I did hit 25,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. Each and every one of you who support me along this journey. This has been a huge, huge milestone for me. And I am so happy that I finally did reach 25,000 subscribers. It really means means so much to me from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much to all of my subscribers and supporters. Of course, I would not be here without you guys, so thank you again. But make sure you stick around because somewhere when I find the time, I will be announcing that giveaway. I did partner up with Kiara Sky for this giveaway, so I will be announcing that in today's video. So just stick around. Once I have some time to talk about that, I will go ahead and explain what we are giving away and then also the rules to enter this giveaway. So for this nail hack, like I mentioned, I'm going to be pre-designing my full cover soft gel nail tips before I actually go in and apply them. I am still going to be applying these using a glue gel, so I want to make sure that the cuticle area of the nail is still going to be the normal color of the nail tip. So you can of course use clear nail tips to do this, but honestly in my last video that I tried this nail hack, I used clear nail tips and it worked amazing, but I wanted to try this nail hack using a pre-colored nail tip. So that's why today I'm using the Kiara Sky Cover Jelly Tips. I did go in and size those out to fit my natural nails. And then now I'm coming in and doing my filing. For the filing, this is going to be as if you're prepping or like have the nails applied already. So I'm using pretty much the same technique that I would do by filing the free edge to crisp that up. I'm also going around the cuticle area. You can use an e-file to do that, but since I didn't have the nails applied, I just found it easier to just go in with that hand file. And I just took it around the cuticle to help thin that out. So when I do apply these nails, it has more of a seamless and flawless transition. I'm also going in with a buffer here and just removing the shine from the nail tips. That way when I go in with my gel polish, the nails are buffed and the gel polish will adhere properly. Once I was all finished with that, I'm just taking a dust brush and removing all of the nail dust from these nail tips. And now I'm ready to use my gel polish and do my design that I want to do. So I'm going to be using one of the brand new Diamond FX Gels Hot Bling. This is a beautiful red color and I wanted to use it in today's video. I used it in another nail set. I thought it was the perfect gel. So I just wanted to pull that one back out. It is from their Diamond FX collection. It has beautiful reflective glitters in it and I just thought it was so gorgeous and would be perfect for the nail set that I wanted to do today. So like I mentioned, when you are doing this, um, if you are going to be applying them using gel, you want to make sure that you're still leaving the nail bed area of the nail the natural color. So if you're using clear nail tips, you want to make sure that you leave it clear or use a very um, like transparent gel. Or if you're using the cover jelly tips like I'm doing today, you can see that I am doing a French tip design because the French tip design will allow me to pre-design these nails before applying them, but it will still have that nail bed proportion still the normal color or 
leaving it as is as the just the regular color of the jelly tip that way when I go to apply these nails I'm not going to have any issues with the curing process if I were to apply this red gel to the entire nail more than likely I would struggle with curing the nail tips to my natural nails just because it is a dark color um, it doesn't it's not transparent if I were to apply this over the entire nail then I wouldn't be able to see through the nail. For example, you can see the blue sticky tack that I have applied to the underside of the nail because these nails are intended to be applied using gel and they have that transparent look to them. So definitely do keep that in mind. Now, if you want to design the nail and create your own press-ons, you can of course also do that. But when you're doing that, you need to make sure that you're going to be using an air dried nail glue if you're painting over the entire nail surface or using a dark color such as this red, for example, or maybe you're going to be using a black polish or a dark purple, dark blue, something like that. You're going to have to apply the nails using an air dry nail glue instead of a glue gel because the nail lamp isn't going to be able to fully cure and reach the gel on the underside of the nail tip if you're using a very dark gel. So basically to sum everything up, as long as you leave the nail bed proportion of your full cover soft gel nail tip clear, or I know it can get a little confusing because I'm using these covered jelly tips, but as long as you're leaving the nail tip at the nail bed area, the color it was when you pulled it out of the packaging, for example, if you're using a clear jelly tip or a cover jelly tip, then it definitely is possible to pre-paint or pre-design the um, nail tip before applying it, but you just want to make sure that the nail tip area at the nail bed is the same as it was when you pulled it out of the packaging. So keeping it clear, that way the light will be able to pass through and fully cure the gel product underneath. So on all of the nails, I'm pretty much going to be this, doing the same exact design. So the first step I'm doing is just going in and creating my French tips. I use one of the nails just as a reference so I can try my best to keep all of the French tips the same using a liner brush and that gel polish creating my smile line and then filling that in. Once I have the French tip how I like it, I will cure for 30 seconds and then I just repeated the same process to the other nails. After I had the French tips on all of the nails, I am going to be doing a um, like 3D design. So I want to make sure that I apply my top coat now. So I'm going in with a layer of top coat to all of the nails and then I will cure this for 30 seconds in the nail lamp. After the top coat was cured, I'm now ready to go into the next step in this nail design. So I'm going to be using a clear dip powder. You can of course also use a clear acrylic powder. I will also be using a dotting tool for two of the nails and then I will be using a line brush for all of the nails. That way I can do my nail art designs. So on two of the nails, my index and my pinky, I'm gonna be doing two black hearts in the French tip area. 
So I start with that dotting tool, place two dots, and then I use the line brush to connect those dots and make it into a heart. Very easy. I love doing hearts. Sometimes they can be tricky, just struggling to get that perfect heart shape, but it is one of those very beginner-friendly designs. Before curing that gel, I'm then going to pour over my clear powder, and I have found that if you want to get a very velvet, soft look, you want to keep pouring the powder over, and don't just do one pour and then cure. I like to keep pouring it over and over and over, make sh making sure that that gel is fully soaking in that powder. And then I like to let it sit just for a few seconds before curing it. I have found that doing it this way has really helped so I don't get that waxy look because pouring it over and letting it sit is really allowing that gel to fully soak in the powder. So for some reason, I don't know why it's going right to this next nail. Um, maybe I didn't film my pinky for some reason, but anyways, I did do that same black heart on the French tip to my pinky, and then I went ahead and cured those nails for 60 seconds and just popped it back onto the nail stand. I will be coming back to those, but for the next three nails, I did do my thumb off camera, but the two that I'm showing on camera, I actually found this nail design on Instagram and I will go ahead and pop it up on screen to just tag the original artist and so you can see how their beautiful nail design turned out. I thought it looked so freaking amazing and so unique and different. I wanted to do it myself. Now they did a full nail, but I'm just going to be doing it on the French tip part. So I am taking that same black gel polish, the liner brush, and I am doing some outlines for the hearts. Now let me say, this is a lot harder to do versus using a dotting tool and drawing a filled in heart. Doing a heart outline, oh my goodness, I was struggling so much with this. This was definitely quite challenging and it took me quite a bit of time. But anyways, I'm going in and just drawing the outlines for the hearts, and then once I have all of the outlines that I want for the hearts, that's when I begin to fill in the empty spaces. So basically covering up all of the French tip part except for leaving the hearts that I drew open. And then again, I'll be repeating that same process by a pouring pouring over that clear powder and then letting it soak in a little bit and then doing my 60 second cure. And I will just be doing this on two of the nails on camera, but I also did this nail design on my thumb. I just ended up doing it off camera. So before I let this play out, I want to talk about my 25K giveaway. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I hit 25,000 subscribers and it was a very huge milestone for me. So I wanted to give back to you guys because I wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you again to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and have been supporting me. If you're sharing my videos, liking, commenting, if you're subscribed, turned on post notifications, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys and it was a very big milestone for me to hit. So I am beyond blessed, grateful, and so, so thankful. So I want to give back to you guys. I want to host a giveaway. So I did partner up with Kiara Sky for this giveaway and we are going to be giving away a $200 gift card to one lucky winner to spend and have a shopping spree on the Kiara Sky website. This giveaway will start today, February 5th, and it will end on February 26th. I will be choosing the winner and posting it here on my community tab on YouTube. I will not be announcing the winner any other way. I will not be replying back to your comment or anything like that. I will not be asking for any information from YouTube. I will actually have you email me and tell me a secret code. So make sure you are not following for any of the scams. I will never ask for any money for this giveaway or anything like that. I know that YouTube usually like has a lot of people like coming and commenting and saying you won my giveaway. Please do not believe that. I am telling you that right now. Um, I really cannot control that whatsoever. But just keep in, mind, keep in mind, I will be announcing the winner here on YouTube on my community page. 
and I will be tagging the winner and then I will get in contact with the winner and I will be asking the winner for a secret code. That way I can be sure that I have the correct person. So again, just keep that in mind. Like I said, this giveaway will be open today, February 5th, and it will end on February 26th. Now here are the rules to enter this giveaway. You must be subscribed to my YouTube channel, the channel you're watching now, have your post notifications turned on. Number one, having them turned on will allow you to get notifications for my future uploads. It will also help to know when I post the giveaway winner. That way you are able to see if you won the giveaway. Also, go ahead and give this video a like. It really helps me out. And then follow me at Nail by Brandy and at Kiara Sky Nails on Instagram. So follow us both on Instagram. I will have the ads down below in the description box along with the list of the other roles to enter. And then once you have done all of that, you are going to be entered into the giveaway as soon as you comment done on this video. So make sure you are following the rules, um, subscribe to my channel, having post notifications turned on, liking this video, and also following my Instagram and also the Kiara Sky Instagram, which I will be having our ads and the list of rules down below in the description box. One lucky winner will win that $200 Kiara Sky gift card. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this giveaway. I feel like it is a super amazing giveaway and I am so excited for you all to enter and have the chance to win a $200 shopping spree on the Kiara Sky website. I do want to give a big thank you to Kiara Sky for partnering up with me on this giveaway. I feel like it just is a dream come true. I mean, I hit 25,000 subscribers and then Kiara Sky is also partnering with me for this amazing giveaway so I can give back to you all. After I was finished with all of the nails, I'm just taking a small dust brush and going in here to remove any of the remaining powder. Brushing this off to reveal the design was super satisfying. I loved how these nails gave off like almost like a velvet and very soft texture to them. Just I feel like applying that clear powder over the black gel polish, it just really gave a beautiful outcome to these nails. Here are how all of the nails look. We are now ready to apply them. You can see that the design is a French tip and that I left the nail bed area of the nail open. So that will allow me to use gel to apply these nail tips. So just like I would if these nail tips were not already designed, I am going to jump in and apply them using the Kiara Sky Builder Gel. Applying that to the nail tip and then placing the nail tip on my natural nail doing my flash cure for roughly 30 seconds since these nail tips are pre-colored. And then once I have them all applied, I will do a full 60 second cure in my large nail lamp. After I was finished with that final cure after applying the nails, the nails were complete since I already had that top coat applied. They were filed, they were buffed, the pre-design on them, super quick and easy. So once I had them applied, I just went in with my cuticle oil. I applied my cuticle, 
I applied my cuticle oil to my cuticles to nourish them and of course like I always say top off the nail set and here is the finished look of these nails. I think they turned out so cute. Let me know if you guys love this design. I also really like how this design you can do it in so many different ways. You don't necessarily need to do the red and the black but like I said I got my nail inspiration from a post on Instagram. I really like how their nail set turned out and I also also wanted to try it out for myself. Now I will say it wasn't the easiest nail design that I have ever done. I honestly really struggled with drawing the hearts but I feel like that's one reason because I had to draw the hearts on French tips and I wasn't really given a big enough area. So I feel like if I was doing this on the entire nail, it would have been a little bit easier just because I would have been able to draw a bigger outline for the heart. But either way, I love the outcome of these nails. I think that they turned out absolutely amazing. Do not forget about the 25,000 giveaway. You do not have to enter if you do not want to, but if you want a chance to win a $200 gift card from Kiara Sky to use on the Kiara Sky website, definitely make sure you enter. I did go over the rules in today's video. It will be starting today and it will be ending on the 26th of February. So if you didn't catch the rules, if you didn't understand the rules, just check the description box. I will have everything listed out down there. Also, just make sure you are following them and I will be posting the winner on my community tab once I do pick the winner and the giveaway is over. But I really hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all next time.